Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about the singleton design pattern in React and we'll be using TypeScript. And if you are not familiar with TypeScript, don't worry, I'll make it simple. In the end, it's just a JavaScript. So it may be sounds technical, but don't worry, I'll make it super easy to understand. And by the end, you will know how to use it in your own apps. Dive right in. First thing is, let's explain what the singleton design pattern is. It is a pattern that ensures only one instance of a class is created so think of it like just one tv remote in your living room if there were two it will get confusing you only need one instance to control everything and that's what the singleton pattern does in code in our app we will use the singleton pattern to manage authentication so imagine you have multiple login methods like google apple and facebook Instead of creating a new authentication system for each login method, you will create just one instance that can handle all of them. So let me show you how. In React, the singleton design pattern can help improve performance and organization. So let's say you have a component that handles different authentication methods like Google, Apple, or Facebook. You want to switch between these without creating a new authentication system every time. The singleton pattern ensures we only create this one authentication instance and reuse it. It is efficient and helps keep things neat. So now let's get our hands on with some code and I'm giving you here a full example that you can follow along with. So we'll be creating an odd component right here to manage Google, Apple and Facebook login methods. And we will make sure we only have one instance using the singleton pattern. So first thing is that we need to create three simple components for login methods. So Apple Auth, Facebook Auth, and Google Auth. We will create these components under our components folder. And at the moment, they are very simple. Or what we are just displaying some message saying login with Apple and login with Facebook and login with Google. Now we'll go back to our auth components. And this is where the magic happens. We will use a singleton pattern to make sure we only have one instance of authentication handling all the login methods. So I created this component under my components folder. And what I will do right here, I'll just go and import, of course, the child components that I will need. So import Facebook auth, import Google auth, and import Apple auth as well. Okay. Now let's create our singleton to ensure we only have instance of it. So I'll come uh, right on the top of my component and what I will do here I will just create a singleton pattern to ensure only one one instance oh my god man my space one instance so we'll create a class called auth singleton and you can call this anything you like and what I will do here, declare a few things. So first I want to create a private static instance of my auth singleton. Okay, so whatever your class you named right there. The next thing is I will create a public auth type, which will be of string. And then we will create here now a private constructor. Okay, so this one will help us to construct our uh, class. And we'll say this dot auth type equal an empty string to start with. Okay, now we'll go out of here and let's get the singleton instance okay so we have to handle that so we'll create a static fun function called get instance okay and that will be an instance of auth singleton and then 
we will say okay if odd singleton dot instance does not exist so we don't have any instance yet then what we will do will create a new instance so we say odd singleton dot instance equal a new auth singleton okay so basically we're just trying to create an instance of our singleton then we'll come after our if statement and we'll return that instance of course so auth singleton dot instance great okay so up to here nice now we'll come next after this and we'll say set up a set of functions so set the authentication type okay so we need to know which type of authentication we are uh, having so it will be very simple we'll create again a function called set auth type and you can call this anything you like and that accepts a parameter of type and that type will be type of string and what we'll do for us what we do for us is set the auth type so the uh, the type you are passing as a parameter, of course. Now, next we need to have a function that will help us to get the auth type. So, get auth type, and you can call again this one anything you like. And doesn't accept any parameter because we're just getting something back. So, return this dot type auth type. Great. So, we created our class now. Now, I'll come right down here, and what I will do. This odd component will accept a property which will be of type odd type. So odd type that is my prop name, and that will be of some type which I need to declare up here. So interface, and I'll say odd uh, component props. We'll add i and n for interface, and that will have an odd type so whatever your property name right here so odd type and that will be of type string again if you're using javascript you don't have to worry about all these interfaces so i'm saying this odd type will be type of auth component props i oops i forgot something so it's not like that wait so it should be here to dot so my whole props out of this type Okay, and this one of course will be a React component. So that will be a React dot a functional component. And I'll just remove this curly bracket. I don't know what I'm doing today. Okay, great. So what we have done is that we create a component. It accepts a property called odd type, and that will be of this type here. So our odd type will be of type string. Okay, so this one here is right there. That is the type of it. Now we go back to our component. So inside here, basically, we need a local state that will hold for us the current authentication. Okay, or the current authentication type. So what we will do, we will use your state so const. I will say my current auth, and you can call this anything you like. And of course, we need to set a function set current auth. And that will be equal to use state. And this use state will have a default value of null. And I, because I'm using TypeScript, I need to tell what is the type of my state. And I know it will be type of string or null. So string or null. Then now we need a place where we can set our authentication and for that we'll be using use effect. Okay, so we import oops, we'll import use effect and we'll come down here and we will say use effect and that use effect I will want it to run every time my odd type is changed. So I will add that one in my dependency array. So that will make sure whatever code we write here, it will run every time this odd type changes. Okay. Now I'll go inside and I will say const and here I'll use my class. I'll say auth instance equal to my auth singleton class. 
dot get instance okay so i'm creating a create an instance for my class now then i'm going to set the type so auth instance that dot set or type and we'll set it to whatever property coming down in my component nice and then i'll say i'll set also my current state my local state my component so set current with the updated type so of instance now we will get the type from our class instance itself great so this code basically here in our use effect will run every time this odd type here changes okay now we can can go inside our return function and what we'll do we'll do some conditional rendering so depending on the current type or of type we'll be rendering our components okay so if current art is google then we render this if it's apple then that if it's facebook we render the facebook auth okay and i can see the tricky lines here just because of my typescript so i think what i will do i remove the type interface of my prompts from here and i'll come right here i'll just do it right there and that should fix it for me and also one thing you can do for example i keep using react.fc for the type of my components you can just import fc like we do for use effect uh, from right here and then you don't have to write react.fc you can just write fc okay and that's all for the type interface now that's what we have now that we have our single logic in place let's see it in action and let's create an auth async usage component that we use this auth component okay so let's go back in our component folder and what i will do i'll create a new component which is called auth instance usage .tsx. oops .tsx. And what we will do here basically is very simple. We will just import the auth component that we created right there. And what I will do is export the default so I don't need the curly bracket. And what we have is just a title, okay? And I'm passing that passing that auth type um, as Google to the component, okay? Now let's save this. And what I will do, I'll just make sure I import this in my page.jsx just like that let's save it now let's go back to our UI. you can see we have the title there and then we have this one is actually the child component which was google auth.tsx rendering saying login in with google okay so that was this component right there okay so we can now easily just go to the parent and for example do here apple save it we go back to our ui and then you can see here the actual Apple authentication component, which is rendering right there. So that is it. We have successfully used the singleton design pattern to manage our component authentication in React. So by using this pattern, we made sure that only one instance of this authentication has been created system, which helps keeps our app efficient and clean. So if this tutorial helped you, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to more easy to follow coding tutorials. Leave a comment if you have any questions and let me know what you would like to see next. So see you in the next video.